In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use tables to align questions and answers for multiple choice tests. Um, it allows, this allows you to do something that maybe looks a little bit more professional and it will actually streamline the process quite a bit for you. All right, so the first thing you do is you set up the header of whatever your thing is going to be. Um, I've chosen to do parts of the cell because that is my background. I used to be a biology teacher. And I'm going to go to table, insert, table. And I'm going to have three columns and two rows and fixed column row. The rest of the stuff is actually pretty basic, so that's okay. Now, what I'm going to put over here is I'm going to put over here um, a blank. Here is where the name of my organelle is going to be, and over here is going to be a short description of what it does. So, one of the things I have to tell you, though, I don't like the borders on the table showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole table and under where it says borders and shading, I'm going to say none. Say OK. But I'm going to highlight this first column, right click, and where it says borders and shading, I'm going to put all. Now what that does is that's going to put a little box in front of each one of my cell organelles. So I'm going to type in the nucleus. And next to the nucleus, I'm going to type the headquarters of the cell. All right, and then the next one is going to be the mitochondrion. And next to that, I'm going to put the powerhouse of the cell, or powerhouse of the cell. Now, of course, now I'm out of line space, so what am I going to do? I'm going to hit tab, and that brings me to another line. It actually keeps on creating more rows. Now, I don't think you guys... I'm watching this because you want a history lesson, uh, or a biology lesson, I should say. So I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, so now here is my table that's completely been filled out. All right. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of align things a little bit better so they make a little bit more sense. I'm, I really want a little tiny box over here in the corner. But what I want to do here is, you know, this isn't a very hard test. I mean, the answer is directly across from the word. So I want to mix up the second column here that has all the functions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to randomly assign letters. I'm going to make suicide sacs A, put in a little space and maybe a dash. I'm going to make cytophobic synthesis B, put in a space, dash. Uh, headquarters of the cell C, um, space, dash, and so forth and so on until we get all of our terms kind of randomly assigned a letter. Now, you can do this exact same thing in Moodle. I'm not talking about a Moodle quiz. I'm talking about a quiz that you're going to photo, uh, maybe graph and hand out to the teacher, the, your students. All right, so here we have our two things. But now I want to sort this. I want to kind of randomize according to the letters I've assigned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this column, and I'm going to go up to the little tab that says Table, drag down, and double go to the double chevron at the bottom. That expands so you can see the whole list. I'm going to hit Sort. And so I want to, you notice column three is already highlighted. That's because I selected it. I'm going to do it by text because it's a letter. And under options, I want to sort only this column. Make sure that that's checked. I'm going to say OK and OK. And now you notice, of course, everything's sorted alphabetically, A, B, C, D, E. And I have a nice appearing little column, a little quiz. In order to see what's going to look like when I print it, because I didn't want there to be lines, I'm going to go to print preview, and this shows you what it's actually going to look like. All right, little boxes, letters, everything. All right, this is a very handy tool for getting some nice, uh, creating a quiz where things are lined up. I find this easier than creating columns. All right, and so this concludes our tutorial on using tables to set up quizzes.